I've already got panels set up. So they're completely sized to this three and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna go and find those. So I'm clicking on the add images button again, and I'm gonna locate my files. And I keep everything in a marketing folder on my computer or my ex and my external hard drive as a copy. And I have a folder called accordion cards. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click open and it's gonna add all my panels. I created the template for these, so that's available on my Designfully Templates website. So it's designfullytemplates.com. It takes you to the Etsy shop. And if you click on um, accordion cards, you'll find this particular template layout, which has a pan two panels on there that have, have like a collage. So you have or a horizontal image and a couple of verticals on there or and another collage that has you know five images on there. So <clears throat> these are sized to 3.5 by 5.5, which is what the size of this panel is once it's printed. These, Im these templates and these images are set at 300 DPI, which is the high resolution for printing. You don't want to go anything lower than 300 or it's going to be a little fuzzy looking. I've created um, a panel for, and it's numbered for each panel size. So you put panel one, two, three, four, five. So we're starting with panel one, which is our front. On side one, the outside, and it'll be indicated right here at the center tab of the Rose program. So this is panel one. And then I'm gonna go to panel two, panel three, panel four, and panel five. Then I'm gonna click on next page. And this is gonna take us to our inside layout. And I'm gonna find the back panel that goes on the far right. And then panel nine, panel eight, panel seven, and panel six. All right, so again, this is gonna be the back panel, which has your logo, your contact information. I changed mine a little bit. I put the, the address at the top um, underneath my logo, and it's very tiny text, big phone number, uh, medium-sized website. So this is readable for um, anybody with glasses or without glasses. I like to make sure that um, because my clientele is over, that I target is over 40, I'm 42, I'm wearing glasses, I'm assuming a lot of people who are like me are wearing glasses, this can be read with or without glasses. I know this because I looked at it. <laughs> um, I have a panel that has a beautiful quote for myself. Um, that's on the inside. I have this gorgeous little um, collage that I created. This is included in that template and it's created in Photoshop so you're just dragging your images onto those layer masks. And I'm gonna click on next page or go back to the front. Same thing, I have text just only text panels, which explain my fees, booking of, uh, you know, booking starting at 190, my prices for my wall porch is starting at, my folio box is starting at, and then I have a panel with a list of the different genres that I offer. Mother daughters being number one here because I'm showing mother daughter portraits throughout most of this template, and then going descending order for the ones that I'm I'm featuring within this template. Okay, now I want to collect, um, select my paper options. So let's go over here to options. And underneath that you have paper for the 10 panel recording cards. Felt is the default, so make sure that you change this if you don't want felt. I prefer the smooth paper. I like a shiny finish. And it's gonna make that um, your uh, accordion card feel even thicker and more luxurious. So I click on UV, um, gloss UV coating two sides. That's going to be an extra $7.50 for each side. Um, I'm going to scroll down. I do not want rounded corners. I don't think it looks really good for my particular look. And envelopes, it's a default. It's going to, and it's going to select plain envelopes, but you have the options of um, silver line, gold line, or craft envelopes, which I think are those brown looking, kind of paper bagish looking uh, paper. I always go for the plain envelopes. Um, my brand has gold in it, so um, I could add gold. It would give a little extra, um, you know, classy kind of look to it, but I just am gonna go for the plain envelopes. It's a little cheaper. In fact, they're free. <laughs> um, you can have your return address put on there for 20 cents per envelope. So if you click on print address on your envelopes, 
return in the upper left hand corner, which is pretty standard, or you could put it on the back rear flap. That's an option as well. And um, then you can pick the font. This is where you have to choose their fonts. Um, you wouldn't be able to upload this separately because they don't have the option for that. My The closest font for my um, look right here would probably be Arial or even um, maybe Times Roman if I wanted to get um, something close to this font. I think I would just pick Arial and keep it simple. It's just a return envelope. And here you can put in your name, your address, and all your um, address information in there. Once you have that all filled out, you then go to the center panel here and choose your quantity. The default is 25. That's their minimum order. So you'll get 25 double-sided scored um, uh, accordion cards. They're going to deliver them flat, and you all you have to do is just fold them over. They're already scored, so it's easy to fold them, and then you can stick them in your envelopes or... Um, you know, put them in a box, they're going to kind of spring a little bit. So you might want to put something heavy on those when you're, when you have them folded or leave them flat until you need them. Um, so we're going to pick a, I'm going to actually choose 50. It's what I usually get. It's pretty reasonably priced for that. And I'm going to click add to cart and then go to the top right hand corner where it's a shopping cart. And Okay, so I'm reviewing this. I had a previous order in here. I'm just going to delete that. Make sure that it's not the one that I just did. I'm just going to delete the one I don't need. This is the superfluous one. Um, <clears throat> so this is our order. We're just going to review it. Envelope, smooth paper, UV coating, um, address levels. I, I don't want that, but it's you can go back and edit it if you don't want that and just change that option. And just turn that item off. And that's going to adjust your price. Make sure you have everything else still selected correctly. And click Save. And then go back into the cart. <laughs> We're getting a little confused here. So anyways, you can go in and edit. It shows you that you can edit your items and <clears throat> add your quantity price. If you want to change that to 25 or 50, you can change it here as well. And that's pretty much it. So once you've, um, once you've made all your selections, you just click check out and we'll take you through the ordering process for adding um, your billing information and your shipping information. And that's it. Hope this helps you.